If you think about all the things conservatives have pushed down the road, we have contraception, then we have no-fault divorce, we have abortion, and then after abortion, we got gay marriage, and then we got transgenderism, now we got drag queen story hour. What the hell is next? Pedophilia in the streets? There's nothing left. Conservatives have conceded everything. So it's time for us to flip the script. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Red Top Report. I'm your host, Joe Enders, and we're going to start talking a little bit about the presidential race right now and the Republican Party and what's going on in their current primaries. And for this one, we have Vivek Ramaswamy, who actually just recently overtook Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, in the polls. You can throw that poll up there, show everybody. But now we have a video of him commenting a little bit on the woke and LGBT. So, Ronan, you have that queued up? Let's get right to it. What's Benny Johnson saying? Watch a pansexual reporter tries to bait v Vivek Ramaswamy at the Iowa State Fair. Instead, he delivers a master class on how to instantly turn the tables. Watch his masterful warning against activists grooming children and their tyranny of the minority. Let's check it out. Well, I don't think it's one community. Really? Yeah. I mean, how could it be? You just mashed together an alphabet soup. Trans is fundamentally yeah. intentioned with gay, if you ask me. But what's your opinion? I am personally a pansexual, so I was okay. just wondering what your views on same-sex couples were. I don't have a negative view of same-sex couples, oh, but I do go. have a negative view of a tyranny of the minority. So there, there it is. This is the problem with the Republican Party. Imagine if something like this had been send, said by Republicans when Obama was president. Most of the country opposed gay marriage at that time. There was a there, there was a gigantic shift that just happened out of nowhere. Like Barack Obama, for example, he is on record saying that like that like uh, he was for traditional marriage while he was running for while he was running for president in two thousand eight. I believe that marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. This is why Republicans are always losing. They just concede every single point to the left. Concede on trans, concede on trans, they're going to concede on transgenderism. You already can see it happening right now. You got Caitlyn Jenner on Fox News. And then what's next? Uh, oh, I'm a conservative. Uh, I, I support drag queens, you know, dancing in the streets with their junk hanging out. I just don't necessarily want there to be children there when they do it. That's where we're headed, guys. That's the actual trajectory of where we're going right now. And and this is a real danger. This is a real danger, I would say. But anyways, we can, we can keep playing it. So I think that in the name of protecting against the tyranny of the majority, and there are times in this country's history where we have had a tyranny of the majority, we have now, in the name of protecting against tyranny of the majority, created a new tyranny of the minority. And I think that that's wrong. I don't think that somebody who's religious should be forced to officiate a wedding that they disagree with. I don't think somebody who is that's a good. woman who's worked really hard for her achievements should be forced to compete against a biological man in a swim competition. I don't think good. that somebody who's a woman that respects her bodily autonomy and dignity should be forced to change clothes in a locker room with a man. That's not freedom, that's oppression. And so I believe that we live in a country where free adults should be free to dress how they want, behave how they want, and that's fine. But you don't oppress, you don't become oppressive by foisting that on others. And that especially includes kids because kids aren't the same as adults. And so I think adults are free to make whatever choices they want, but do not foist that ideology onto children before children are in a position as adults to make decisions for themselves. And so I think a lot of the frustration in the country, and if I'm being really honest, that I also share. Let's, let's pause it right here. Let's pause it right here. That position that Republicans espouse, you know, once you're an adult, I really don't care what you do, but it's about the kids or whatever. I'm sorry, but what adults do affects kids. What adults do affects kids. What if it's a parent that decides that they want to be transgender? Oh, he's an adult and he has freedom. Well, guess what? You've just taken a father out of the equation entirely because he'll have no masculine example because his dad is prancing around in high heels and a dress. That's what's going to happen. That destroys families from within. You actually do have to force adults to be moral and upstanding citizens. You do kind of have to, in their words, which it isn't actually, oppress people. You have to make them not do what they feel like doing, not do what they want to do in order to better preserve the family unit. Uh, this goes to what I was saying about individualism in the past. Individualism is not Christian. The 
the, the, the first cell of civilization, according to Pope John Paul II, and according to Vatican II, guys, according to the church councils, is that the family is the first cell of society. This is church teaching. You cannot, you cannot move away from that. And this is the main problem that I think that he has here. We'll let him finish up his little statement here, though. Comes from that new culture of oppression where saying those things can actually get somebody punished. And in my case, it's part of why it's my responsibility to say them. And I respect that you may have a different opinion and that's okay. It's part of what makes our country great is that you and I can be civil and have this conversation and that we live in a country that still gives us, each of us the right to speak you know, to a presidential candidate and back and still say that we pledge allegiance to the same nation. So I think that's the beauty of our country and that's my honest opinion. Awesome. Well, Thanks. thank you very much. I appreciate thank that. Thank you for your civility as well. I Absolutely. appreciate it. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Okay, yeah. Um, no, I'm not for civility with these people. These people absolutely despise the country. They absolutely despise our faith. They despise everything about us, and they wish to undermine us in any possible way that they can. Uh, no, I would... I would not allow these ideas to be platformed. As a matter of fact, I would flip the script entirely on the left here. I would not allow pro-LGBT propaganda to be pumped into our airwaves. Those sorts of things are wrong. Those sorts of things are evil. We're trying to cultivate a civilization filled with good, upstanding, moral people that can cultivate families. And with that type of stuff going on, and with that type of stuff being introduced into political discussions, that changes the direction of the country and moves it away from its godly purpose of of cultivating families that believe in procreation that agree that 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 uh, that that prop up moral lifestyles. That's the purpose of government. That's why it exists. And him failing to do that just shows the greater failure of the Republican Party. Because if you think about all the things conservatives have pushed down the road, we have, you know, we have uh, all the way back. We have no, we have contraception. Then we have no fault divorce. And after we have no fault divorce, we have abortion. And then after abortion, we got gay marriage. And then we got transgenderism. Now we got drag queen story hour. What the hell is next? Pedophilia in the streets? There's nothing left. Conservatives have conceded everything. So it's time for us to flip the script. And we will flip that script. And that's what Red Top Report is about. Flipping the script on the left and telling them what we're up to. And with that said, guys, that's all we're going to have for this episode. So you got to follow us on Instagram and you have to follow us on Twitter or X or whatever Elon Musk is saying it's called now. And you got to subscribe to the channel. That's right. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And also hit that notification bell so you always know when we are dropping new content. And you know what, guys? Just makes me sad because you won't be able to do the political contributions because you're going to give us your money. The money you raise, you get to keep zero percent of it. And you can give us your money by going to buymeacoffee.com. That is buymeacoffee.com. You can do a single donation or you can do a monthly Joe for Joe for only five bucks a month. And with that said, guys, that's all we got for this episode. We'll catch you next time. God bless.